Hey, I'm always thinking about what to do for videos because I watch a lot of YouTube and I like the conversation. And I want to have like um like a demographic that I'm aiming towards. I guess it was a little bit like that when I was doing my Tao readings. But the reason why I was doing those Tao readings is so that I could feel a little closer to my estranged Estranged. I was never close with her. So I could feel a little closer with my sister. Didn't really work. So. I've made a very peaceful life for myself here. But it's lonely. You know I'm a feminist, and I'm also an anti-feminist. I want to do skits. I appreciate free speech. People are crazy. I want to cry. I want to laugh. I want to dance. I'm too tired to dance. I'm not tired. I'm not tired at all. Just too tired to dance. Maybe I should dance right now. My videos are boring. I don't want them to be boring. I want to make up skits. I want to make people think. I want to make people laugh. I think I think well, and I don't know a lot of well thinkers, but I know some really well thinkers on YouTube. So how do I join that community? Because I don't want to join a community here. Too many people act badly. This sucks. I remember a lot of things from my childhood, like they happened yesterday. I think that if there was many things between me and childhood, like huge memories, I probably... I don't know what that means, H2 meters. I probably it's so hard to speak to a camera. <laughs> um, enable me to. I also wasn't really a child. Like I had a lot of responsibility for self and not a lot of um, coddling or caring or not a lot of interest, in fact. So, I was pretty much on my own. I have a lot of stories to tell. Scary stories. Some about spirits and some about people. The people ones are kind of more scary. I kind of want to go back. This is a therapy channel. So I kind of want to go back and talk about these incidences that happened when I was growing up. So I want to start making these this series of stories. Bye.